we will be evaluating the square root of 18. So before we evaluate the square root of 18, let's go over a math rule. So if we see something like the square root of a times b, which could both just be two values, we can change this into the square root of a times the square root of b. So we can break up that square root. So if we do this with 18, what we first want to do is break it up into its factors. So factors of 18 include 9 and 2. We can further break up that 9 into 3 and 3. Now the values 2 and 3 are both prime. So now we can rewrite 18 as 2 times 3 times 3. Now if you notice, 3 times 3 is 9, and this gives us a square root of 3. So we'll want to combine these when doing the square root. So what we can now write this as is 2 times 9. Now we want to do the square root of 18. We can then do the square root of 2 times 9, which then gives us the square root of 2 times the square root of 9. We know the square root of 9 is 3. So then we can rewrite this as 3 root 2. So this is how we pull out a perfect square from our square root. Now if we wanted to estimate the square root of 18, we can also do that by finding square root, perfect square root values that are close to the square root of 18. So we can think about 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, and 5 squared. So 2 squared gives us 4, 3 squared gives us 9, 4 squared gives us 16, and 5 squared gives us 25. So we can see the value of the square root of 18 is between 4 squared and 5 squared. So now we can write the square root of 16 is less than the square root of 18, which is less than the square root of 25. And we know the square root of 16 is 4, the square root of 25 is 5, so then we can write 4 is less than 18, which is less than 5. And if we wanted to estimate the square root of 18 to the nearest whole number, we would say it's around 4. And this is due to the fact that 18 is a lot closer to 16 than it is to 25. So now we can look at our answer and we have the square root of 18 estimated to around 4. And we can see that this matches with an estimation of 3 root 2. So we have 3 times the square root of 2, and that square root of 2 is 1 point something. So we can see about 4 here is similar to this estimation of 4 here. So either one of these is a good way to estimate or simplify the square root of 18.